Hi, this is Autodidact and this is the continuation of my previous video in this Laravel series and today I'm going to show you how you can make shortcuts for the CLI or Linux commands that you're using from time to time when you're developing with Laravel. Okay then, let's get started. So we're currently in our home directory, user home directory and then we'll have to go to our uh, to get to our um, Laravel directory. So the CD, uh, this sub directory is here. CD mount um, C dev uh, thing. Uh, I think it was yeah sample app uh, directory there. This is where our Laravel. Uh. Okay, let's try to run the vendor bin uh, sale. So this will be running within your terminal and you'll see a lot of logs there um, real time just running because it's not it's not running in the background so I'll show you how to run it in the background later okay so let's check it's running yeah it is running so I'll control C here to stop the currently running a uh, sale uh, container and then um, Let's double check that if it's really down. Okay, it is. So instead of running how uh, within your terminal and seeing all those logs there, you can just uh, add the dash D um, option there. Dash D to run cell container within the background. And um, uh, you will not be presented all with all presented with uh, those logs there in real time because it's already running in the background okay down so to bring it down you'll just simply say sail down there okay um, let's check if it's really down it is down okay now instead of typing uh, dot slash vendor blah 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 sale up there it's a long command there especially if you're you know typing uh, PHP art send commands uh, so all you have to do is add an alias line within your bash RC file within your directory okay let's do that uh, bash RC and I'll do that uh, at the bottom of this script here so at the bottom of this file I'll, I'll insert an alias command here to shorten um, uh, those um, command there that we have executed uh, earlier so sale vendor bin sale so uh, I'll just do this first and then um, maybe alias up, okay, down. Okay, so let's try these uh, three uh, aliases. So instead of the typing, uh, instead of typing um, dot slash vendor um, slash bin sale up dash d. You can just have to uh, type you since you've added the up shortcut already or alias. You can just type up here. Oh, sorry. Uh, we have to source that one, so the changes will take effect. It's either you reboot or log out. Um, you're you're currently logged in user, you know, open to user, or just use the source command there. Okay. Yes, it's working. Now, uh, let's try if it's really working in the browser. Okay, it is working. Now to down, or to bring it down, you just have to type down there because you, you've already added the down alias there. Uh, to uh, bring it down. Okay. All right, so it's working. Now, 
uh, let's try <clears throat> let's clear the screen first and let's try the PHP artisan okay so let's run PHP artisan and oh so we need to seal PHP artisan oh sorry uh, we need to run the cell container first so we have already created an alias there so the up so sale PHP artisan so we need to um, include sale command to run PHP artisan okay it's working now uh, instead of typing PHP artisan sale PHP artisan to run PHP artisan command uh, we can add that in our uh, bash RC uh, let's add an alias there okay I'll edit this one and then maybe I'll say alias um, maybe art and then sale PHP artisan there that's the command that we're going to shorten and source this uh, file here so my changes will take effect clear and art so instead of typing sale PHP artisan we can just type the alias art and then it should work yes it is then clear the screen now um, let's try sale PHP artisan make controller sample controller so it will automatically create a uh, sample controller file in your, in your um, uh, HTTP controller directory so instead of typing uh, this long line here um, yes you can uh, type art make controller sample controller and you, uh, let's say see another controller another sample here so instead of typing cell PHP artisan you can just use the uh, art make controller and you can also um, uh, shorten the uh, execute the, the uh, PHP PHP artisan tinker command there we can add that uh, to our um, yes it is working uh, we have added art there so you can execute execute the uh, art tinker we can but we can shorten that even more uh, so uh, let me uh, say maybe tink and then art tinker so the shortcut for uh, executed executing art tinker is uh, just tink so let's try okay art thing is working so tink oh sorry we need to source that again every time you edit uh, the bash rc you need to source it so the changes um, within the file will be uh, will take effect I think yes it is working okay let's screen this let's, let's clear the screen and uh, city let's go to the home directory clear so instead of um, going through this uh, commands just to get to your uh, larval file or larval home directory or larval directory um, uh, we can add this to our uh, bash rc so every time you open um, ubuntu application here and go to your you know uh, larval uh, directory you can just you know type work so let's add that uh, work alias here and then I'll say cd mount uh, dev thing sample app save that one and then um, source now we try work see so we go directly to that sample app directory so we can execute the app as soon as possible get there down 
So, uh, okay, let's try again. We want to add, or I want to add a uh, clear command here because we're executing clear command every time we, you know, uh, get to that Laravel directory. So why not add that command here? So to add command within this uh, alias here, you just have to use the uh, double ampersand there. Okay, so what it does is uh, clear the screen uh, after uh, going to that command there or directory. Okay, sorry, uh, we need to source this one. And then work. And boop, yes, it is working. So you can execute multiple command within a single alias there okay so that's how you shorten commands within Linux so I think we're good here thank you for watching this video and see you in the next uh, video mm -hmm.